Hey, this is Divya and today we will talk about all the strategies that you're gonna need in Town Hall 8. First, let's divide the strategies into two categories. The first one is farming for loot, the second type is war. Now, for those players who want to do trophy pushing, you can use the war strategies. So this list will be for both war and trophy pushing players. First, let's talk about farming. The most common and simple strategy is barge. It's basically a line of barbarians in front and a line of archers behind. This strategy works the best where the collectors are full. Some players use rage spells with barge, while some players like to use lightning spells to take down splash damaging defenses. For variation you can use goblins and wall breakers to reach deeper into the base. Positive side of the strategy is loot, low training time and cost. Negative side is trophy, you might lose out on them. Let's talk about our second strategy, which is Meat Shield. You basically have a wall of giants, followed by wizards and wall breakers to make them away. You could have a hog rider to check the clan castle and archers to pull the defending troops into a corner if there's anything inside. You can have more giants in your clan castle. Try to deploy your troops in such a way that your wizards always have tanking in front of them. Now replay in double speed for better understanding. You can add healers to meat shield and add a variation to it. The start remains the same but spell composition is different in this version of meat shield. However, try to keep a pack of giants together to get the best out of healers. Your healers may or may not go down to the air defenses but even if they do, you still have your healing spells. Now replay time. We have something specifically for Dark Elixir farming. This strategy can even get Dark Elixir from Town Hall 9. The first step is setting a good funneling towards the Dark Elixir storage. It's good if you can pick up the Dark Elixir drills along the way. Use Fort Earthquake spells to open up the base. Since you do not have that many wizards in this strategy, and if the defending CC troops are pretty strong, this strategy may fail. However, because of the goblins, you should get the Dark Elixir. If you cannot get Earthquake spell in CC or Epica, then Valkyries will be your next best option, as they can open up walls pretty fast. Replay time.
Now let's talk about a very fun strategy. This is definitely not the strongest. And if there are CC troops, then it will definitely mess up the strategy. So take care of them first with hogs and archers. But to be honest, it is so fun to do a balloon parade. This strategy usually works on the weak basis and definitely use lightning spell and more high level balloons in your CC, unlike shown in this replay. But it's fun anyway. And sometimes, rarely, you get very weird bases in wars with weak air defenses. Use this strategy in those cases. Now it's time for the war attacks. The most common war strategy in Town Hall 8 is the dragon strategy. It is also very reliable and it does not need a lot of skills. You can pair dragons with 8 lightning spells or 4 lightning spells to take down 1 air defense, 1 rage and 1 poison spell of your own and take balloons and haste in the CC to push them into one of the air defenses. In this case we are using 8 lightning spells to take down 2 air defenses which are in the direction of the air sweeper. Use the king and a dragon to make a decent funnel and we will deploy our dragons from the opposite side of the air sweeper. And that's all you have to do. Now wait for the dragons to take down the base. Now replay in double speed. Next up is Goho, Golems and Hog Riders. This is easy to pull off but a little bit harder than the Dragons. This is the composition. With your kill squad, you have to take down Bomb Tower, Clan Castle and the King. You have to take down at least two of them with your kill squad. You can lure the CC with Hogs and Archers before deploying the kill squad. But it is not always possible, so in that case, start with your kill squad directly. Once the kill squad has taken a part of base down, you can start deploying hawks so that they can move in a circular pattern. Use the poison spell to kill the skeletons if required. Next strong strategy is Govaho, Golems, Valkyries and Hog Riders. Just like before, you have them as your main target for your kill squad. There are not enough troops to do a hog pull, so engage with your kill squad directly. Since there are two golems here, tanking wouldn't be a problem. Rage them up when Valks enter the base. The remaining spells are for the Hog Riders only. Also deploy the hogs when they have some tanking from the golems and the kill squad has taken a part of the base down. You have to find a good timing here.
Another strategy is go wipe. It is one of the classic old school strategies that no one uses in Town Hall 8 anymore. It has been in the game since ages and it's pretty simple to do. Deploy like golems, followed by funneling wizards, followed by pickers, followed by hog riders in the CC. And by the way, avoid using this strategy in a base with a lot of compartments like this one. The pickers are likely to walk out, but since this strategy is strong, it will still get this base down. Next strategy is a fun one, it is the mass hawk and there too a ridiculous number of hawks. Use this strategy only when CC can be lured with a single hawk rider. Pull them with archers and kill them with a higher level of poison. Let the king tank for a while and deploy a handful of hawk riders. There is no proper kill squad in this strategy to take out a section of the base and give your hog riders a circular path. But you can certainly have a lot of hog riders to overwhelm the defenses. Also town lead is not that big. So you can take down bases even if you don't have a good pathing. Finally, our last strategy. It is the mass Valkyries or world power as mentioned in the training list. Valkyries do not go after defenses first, so it is best to have a golem in this composition. Valkyries require a very good funneling to go into the base. Be sure to do that or the Valks might walk out on you. Also, there will be only two healing spells, so drop one of them at the start of the attack when everything is together and getting the maximum amount of damage and drop the second one when they split off into two groups. Heal the groups with more number of Valks or if a giant bomb goes off. For any trophy pushing guys out there, use any strategy from the war list. And if I get enough comments, then I will make a trophy pushing series of Town Hall 8. So that's it for this video, I hope it helps somehow. Also uh, drop a feedback in the comments, or any strategy that you would like to be in this list. There are more Town Hall 8 and other level content on my channel, be sure to take a look. And I'll see you in the next one, bye then.